Hello folks, welcome. Zorin 17.1, standard uh, version, not pro. And I'm going to talk about your, your taskbar panel bar today. I'll also touch upon uh, some of the things that are new in 17.1. And I'm going to use uh, Zorin's website for that information. But uh, we're going to start off with the panel bar or taskbar. A lot of people have different names for this bar down here. I'm going to show you how you can turn that into uh, transparency, do a little bit of resizing and that kind of stuff. This is a basic video. So for new users of Soren 17.1 standard version. Welcome folks. I am filming in 1920 by 1080. So you can adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary. So um, Linux is for any age, but the name of my channel is Linux for Seniors. So that's just a watermark. Down here should be a regular icon with uh, that round circle there that has yellow bars around it. If you'd like to subscribe, I have lots of videos and all kinds of tips. So Linux for Seniors. If you don't see that icon, go find me on YouTube. So let's start with the bar and then stay tuned toward the latter part of the video for what's new with 17.1. We're going to right click on the task bar or panel bar. Some people have different names for these things. All right, there's a couple things we can do here. Normally these are turned off and intelligently hide the panel. What exactly does that mean? Well, when you activate this mode, um, it's basically anytime a window gets near this thing, it'll kind of move out of the way. Kind of like that. Okay, whether it's a web browser or whatever it might be. All right, so moving down the settings, uh, we also have override panel theme background. So that's where I get the word panel from because a lot of Linux distributions use the name panel bar. All right, override the theme background opacity. Well, that's currently kind of whitish. Now it's kind of grayish. I'm going to switch to different wallpaper or background. Different names for things. Now, depending on what kind of backgrounds you pick, you may get some, well, sometimes undesired effects and maybe not so much. Now, Right now, my panel bar is see-through. All the stuff kind of blends together versus this is dark and you can kind of see the sand going through here. Okay, so not, not always the best ideal depending on what you pick, right? Just giving you different perspectives on this. Do we have any control over this though? Yes, we do. Right up here is percentages. I got mine currently set for 15. Now as I go forward with positive numbers, it gets, well, darker. So if I turn all that stuff off and just leave the current wallpaper, you can see what I'm talking about. And I'll just switch a couple of these. It still has a whitish background, but you can see a semi-transparency to it. So far so good? All right, I'm gonna put this back to black. All right, so that right click taskbar setting or panel bar setting. So panel background. So as the lower the number, the, uh, the more see-through that it gets. Now this is a very floating, it's at zero. And let's take a look at another background with something else on it. And again, it all depends on what kind of things you're using. Because sometimes this um, text will blend out Okay, so just giving you some different perspectives. Are you going to use this feature very often? Maybe or maybe not. It all depends on your background. We can also just turn that off. Now, I am going to put this background back to the Zorin Black. So we can keep this very dark. And we're going to talk about positions of this panel bar. All right, first of all, you can see this area in here. Apply changes to all monitors. I'm just using a single one today. And uh, mine is a tower computer, if you're curious. It's not a laptop. Standard keyboard, standard mouse, that kind of thing. P 
panel thickness default is 48. So you don't have to remember the default. At least you can see that. So I'll make this a little bit larger or even go higher than that. I'll go to 96. Okay. Default is what again? 48. It even tells you that. The panel length, the length of this panel itself, you can also alter. You get less real estate over here. In other words, not enough room to put extra stuff, other goodies, open programs, that kind of thing. So adjust accordingly. Just keep in mind, it's adjustable. There's tons of adjustments in here that you can make on your own, but I'm just making this a basic video. So yes, we can click through some of these items and experiment on our own, but all I did today was showing you a couple of basic settings, because this is a basic video. Intelligently hide or not. Again, if you turn that off, it's not going to move your web browser out of the way. It'll just stick with the, I'm going to double click, now you can see the panel bar. If I chose the other option though, and intelligently hide, I'm going to first just minimize this and turn that back on and close this. And now I'm going to go back to the web browser and then it goes away all on its own. Now I have full screen. And as soon as I get anywhere near that panel with my computer mouse, it reappears. That's what the difference between that intelligently hide thing is. As I make this smaller and move this window up in the air, it re reappears. Now I'll use the close button and one more time, intelligently hide. And this is for the opacity. In other words, see through and don't forget about the two positions. And if you don't like the panel on the bottom, then you can always put it on the top. It's just the opposite direction. On the left, you will get less real estate or not as much room. In other words, as the ones on the top and bottom but it's all depending on how you want to view it. I'll leave it this way for now. All right, well, I'm going to take you on a brief tour over to uh, uh, the Zorin website with 17.1 because it just got released, if you did not know. Okay, I'm going to slowly scroll through this and I do encourage that you read this on your own. One of the things in here um, are, of course, going to be wine that some people are interested in. Uh, that would be like for Windows type of applications. Now it includes bottles. And um, down here, uh, this is more for students and teachers. And of course, LibreOffice is now 24.2. LibreOffice is a very versatile thing. And if you've been using Microsoft Office for many years, um, personally, I, I don't use all the bells and whistles of Microsoft Office. But I do like LibreOffice for many reasons. Cost is one of them. In other words, no cost. But uh, anyway, some newer apps. And, uh, and I think I saw the other day, it was a, a commercial about some newer games that you may want to take a peek at. Okay, so here's another appearance thing. You know, we were talking about the panel bar. Now you have some more appearance stuff. So again, you can upgrade from 17 to 1 to dot 1 if you haven't done so already. Again, you're watching this on Linux for seniors. You should see an icon there if you want to see some more videos. And if you don't find that icon, then go find me on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching.